do you sometimes have a hard time deciding what is the right strike price to sell a cover call option at? In this video, I'm going to show you how to pick the perfect cover call strike price that matches your personal goal. Here we see the daily stock chart of Tesla. Notice it's currently trading for right at $185 per share. We're going to talk through different types of cover call sellers. The first one we're going to consider is the cover call option seller that's trying to maximize their cash flow. Here you see the Tesla option chain that's 24 days until expiration, expires on June 16th. Now, if we're simply trying to maximize our cash flow, then we want to sell the cover call option that is closest to at the money. With Tesla trading for right around $185 as you see here, that would mean we would sell the $185 covered call option. So if we sold this at the money Tesla June 16th covered call option, which has 24 days until expiration, we expect to pocket $9.80 per share or since we're selling 100 shares worth, then we'd pocket $980 for selling this covered call option. That would maximize the amount of cash flow that we would get by selling an at the money covered call option. But there are other reasons why you might want to sell covered call options. For example, let's say you own Tesla stock, but you really don't want to sell the stock. Let's say you just want to collect some cash against the stock you own while you benefit from Tesla potentially going up in price. What strike price cover call options should you sell then? Now I've switched back over to our daily chart of Tesla. Notice that over the past several days, Tesla has had a nice advance from around $165 all the way up to about $193 per share. However, we now see this hitting up against this red 200 moving average on this daily chart. Most likely that will serve as resistance for Tesla. Notice that it did that several months back. It did it right back on March 31st. It also did it back here in February where several times it tested this moving average for resistance and each time Tesla found resistance at this moving average. So if you simply wanted to collect some cash while you held onto the stock, then it seems reasonable that you could sell a covered call option that's at or above this 200 moving average. Now currently the 200 moving average is right around $199 per share. So if you want to collect as much cash as possible, but put the odds in your favor of Tesla not being caught away from you, then you can sell the covered call strike price just above there. Now I'll switch back over to the same option chain, the Tesla June 16th option chain. These options expire 24 days. So if we look at the $200 strike price covered call option, you see that we expect to get about $4.05 per share. Now keep in mind that if Tesla is above this $200 strike price at expiration, then the 100 shares would be called away from you if you didn't do anything with this option. Now there are many things you can do to protect your stock from being caught away from you. And I'll leave a link to a video about option assignments and how they work. That video will help you see how to avoid option assignments in a situation like this with Tesla, where you want to own the stock, but you just want to collect as much cash as possible. So if we sold that $200 strike price cover call option. We collect $405 per option call contract that we sold. Now what are the odds that Tesla will be above that $200 strike price at expiration? If we look at Delta here, it's shown that there's about a 30% chance that Tesla will be above our $200 strike price at expiration. Let's say that we want to decrease the odds of Tesla being caught away from us. You said we really want to make sure that Tesla would not be caught away from us, but we still wanted to collect some income by selling a covered call option. Well, now let's go back to our chart. So we saw that Tesla should find resistance right here at this red 200 moving average, which we see that it did in fact find resistance today. Let's say that it broke through that 200 moving average. Where would it next find resistance? Well, going back to this recent high on the previous waves high back on March 31st, we see that high was right around $207 or $208 per share. That'd be another area that would potentially serve as resistance for Tesla if it went above this 200 moving average. So we can say if we wanted to provide ourselves an even larger safety margin, we could always sell the $210 strike price covered call option. Well, how much will we get for that? Here you see the $210 covered call strike price. It's like for right around $2.13 per share. So for each covered call option contract that we sold, we collect right about $213. Now the odds of that option being called away from us are just under 18%. And remember, that's only if we didn't do anything with this covered call option and Tesla was above this $210 strike price at expiration. So we sold this cover call strike price at an area that's two levels of resistance above where Tesla's at. One at the red 200 moving average on this daily chart and another at an area where it found resistance about two months ago. Let's say we wanted to be even safer. We wanted to have three areas of resistance that would get in the way of Tesla being called away from us. Well, the next major area of resistance would be this one right here at this previous waves high, which is right around $220 per share. How much would we get if we sold the $220 cover call option that expires in 24 days? Or he said that we would expect to receive right at $1.15 per share or $115 per contract 
that we sold. Now keep in mind if you want to collect more money up front, you can always look to sell a farther dated option. He said the next farther dated monthly option chain will be the July 21st options which expire in 59 days. For that at the money cover call option, if we were trying to maximize our cash flow and we sell that 185 cover call option, he said we collect right at $16.60 per share or over $1,600 for selling this cover call option contract. But if you want to be more safe and sell a cover call option that was three levels of resistance above where Tesla's trading at, you can sell at 220 cover call option. You see that we'll collect right around $5 per share for selling that cover call option that expires in 59 days. Selling these farther out of the money cover call options that are above several layers of resistance is a good strategy for those that want to hold onto their stock. They just want to collect some income. But what if you're a little bit bearish on a stock? Well, if Tesla were to come down, we can feel pretty safe and assuming it'd probably come down to at least around this 176 strike price area. Let's say we want to protect ourselves in case it did come down and we weren't so much concerned with Tesla being called away from us. We want to give ourselves some protection, we can look to sell that $175 cover call strike price that expires in June. So say we want to give ourselves some protection. We want to get protection in case Tesla were to decline to around 175 per share and we didn't mind if it ended up being called away from us. We want to collect as much cash as possible, but also give ourselves some protection. We might consider selling that $175 cover call strike price that expires in 24 days. He said that we'd expect to get around $16 per share. So keep in mind what's going on here. If Tesla is above $175 on expiration day, June 16th in 24 days, then we'll be forced to sell our Tesla shares at $175 per share if we don't do anything with this covered call option. There are a lot of things you can do to prevent that, but if you didn't do anything with this covered call option, the stock will be called away from you at $175 per share. So that's about $10 per share lower than where Tesla is currently trading at. So you get that $10 of this options in the money, then you get an additional $6 in what's called time value or extrinsic premium. What does that return equate to? What well, actually equates to a pretty nice return. If you annualize that premium on the extrinsic value of this option, equates to right at a 42% annualized non-leverage return. And since Tesla's currently trading for $185 per share and you receive $16 per share for selling this covered call option, then that means your break in this position would actually be $169 per share. So Tesla could decline all the way down to $169 per share before you begin to lose money on this position. And of course, if you want to get even more money up front to increase your protection in case Tesla declined, you can always look to go out to a farther dated option. Like for example, here the July 21st option expiration day. These options expire in 59 days. And for that same $175 cover call option, you expect to get around $22.30 per share or $2,200 for selling that call option. With Tesla trading around $185 per share and you receiving $22.30 for this covered call option, that means if Tesla were to drop, you would not begin to lose money until it dropped below $162.70 per share. As you've seen, covered calls can be used for a wide variety of reasons to pocket a lot of cash, to pocket a little bit of cash while you also benefit from stock appreciation, and also to protect a position that might potentially go against you. If you'd like to get an alert whenever we sell cover call or cash secure put options, check out the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. So I showed you how to pick the perfect cover call strike price. But the question is, are cover calls safe? What are the risks of selling covered calls? Well, I answer those exact questions in the video at the link below. Until next time, Happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.